What's up guys, this is a short film or rampage and this is my first video tutorial and basically my first video ever. So here to start off on how to make a realistic gun flare on Windows Movie Maker, which is kind of strange once you think about it, but it kind of really works. So first you want to open up Windows Movie Maker. I have Windows Live Movie Maker, which I think is better to use and easier but if you have any other versions it will still work so um, basically to get if you don't have Windows Movie Maker you can just go to Google type Windows Movie Maker and you can get a free download so first of all you want to add add video and I have mine right here shots uh, this one's a side shot and you could do it either way front shot side shot it works so this is my side shot. Uh, you can see the video. It doesn't have anything edited or effects yet to it. Just me faking the recoil. But um, I'll show you now how to make it better and have flares and whatever not. So what you want to do is play the video until you get to your first shot. So you want to back up to back up frames until you get to your first shot like right here now what you want to do is go to video tools edit and split if you have another version you can also go do just tools and split uh, works the same way you want to back up one frame now what you want to do is go to home and snapshot which uh, you if you don't have it if if you're like Windows Movie Maker's being weird and won't let you do it you can also get a snippet tool which um, also works as well. You can just um, snip it out this little picture part right here. So now you want to take a snapshot. Um, I'm going to save it as test. You could save it whatever you want. So save. Uh, yeah, I already have an existing one. Doesn't matter. So what you want to do now is this is good right now. Just minimize Windows Live Movie Maker. And you're going to also need another free program that works uh, called GIMP. So how to get GIMP, uh, all you have to do is open up Internet Explorer, uh, go to Google, and what you want to type in is GIMP 2.6. Uh, then you have right here free GIMP, uh, free GIMP software, or my favorite, uh, GIMP, gofree.com with a free GIMP download click there and you can get gump right in on this page so I'm not sure which download link it is but you, you can also get it so yeah we'll close out Internet Explorer once you get it uh, you're gonna open up gimp when you first get it get gimp it might take a while just to open up just because it's um first time it's ever opened up and processing and stuff like that so yeah now once the GIMP's open, you want to go to File, Open. You want to go and you want to get your pictures, and you want to look for your video image. So I'm gonna look for test if I can find it. Here it is. I'm gonna open that up, and there it is, it's right here. Uh, also, now you want to do is File, Open, and I'm gonna get a muzzle flare. You can you can get this from Google. Uh, but um, Google doesn't have wh it where it's just the flare. It also has a black background to it. So I can in the links in the description below, I'll provide you with the package. So I'm gonna go to gun package, and I'm gonna get a muzzle flare. You have you also have different types that I will provide in the link below. So now you wanna open it, and you have it on this page right here. Uh, with with the checkers means that it's visible it's only going to show the flare and not anything else so that's what the checker board is for in the background but now you want to go to your rectangular select tool and just select over, select over the flare and you want to cl um, click control C to copy or you can go to right click edit uh, copy and you can also and then you go to your video you can click control V or right click edit paste 
and now you have your little flare right here looks pretty nice got this part right here which I really like now you want to do is get your scale tool and you're gonna scale scale down your flare and scale uh, make it a little bit bigger uh, you want you can you want your flare to be bigger but not too big or too small you want to make it as realistic as possible so I'm going to take my rotating tool I'm going to try to rotate this right here um, click rotate um, get my move tool and you can move it right there and place wherever you want and uh, once you get outside the box you see this you have an anchor above your move tool and you just click outside the box and it will just you know place this down so now that you have this down you want um, to click on your dodge slash burn tool and click that now what you what you want to do is go to your brush click your like uh, radial brush right here and you want the scale to be 10 you want to go down you want to click highlights and there you go so now you're going to click is parts of the video that will be lightened so now you have like a lightened effect uh, I'm clicking basically around it and mostly the gun because the gun will get more of the flares light and your body might get it too so the dodge and burn is a really good tool to lighten up places like uh, a real flash is going on now what you want to do is click file uh, save as uh, you want to? I'm putting it as finished. Finish, save. Uh, you want compression level nine, and you want to click save again. And there you go. So you want to exit out of this, but uh, you also want to keep this open so you can do it repeatedly over again. Now you want to get back to Windows Movie Maker. Um, this part right here, the middle part, uh, is just the picture part. So when you play it, all of this is just the picture. So you want to delete that. Go to Add Videos and Photos. Go to Pictures and look for the one you saved as finished. Um, we'll look right now. Let's see if I have it right here. Finished. Open. And now if you look at it, you can see all the lightened parts right here. Uh, you want to drag your clip into the middle of these two split it clips. Now what you're going to do is go to v edit video tools. For your duration time, I put it as low as it could be is 0 0.03, which is like a frame, one frame, I guess. So there you go, you have it right there, click off of it, and you have your little full frame. So when you play it, you have your little flash right there, starting to look good. Now what you want to do is go to home add music uh, you're gonna find your let's go you're gonna find your also gun package which has the sound which I will provide for you in the link below you got your video packaging I'll go to gun package uh, we have loud I like the loud bang Osama bin Laden thing that I, I found it it works really good so now you have it right here you wanna tr you wanna drag this thing over until you get this and then you want to adjust your music to the end point that would be most desirable but don't make it too long there you go and I have my end point to desires part um, but don't make it too small where it doesn't make the loud bang so when you play it yeah, that part. You may have not seen the muzzle flash. It was just because it was loading and how the frame is. Um, but when you're done, uh, you can actually play it over. So that's how you get your muzzle flare. Just repeatedly do that to the, all the other videos, um, well, parts of your video, and you get your realistic muzzle flash. Um, thank you for watching.